What's up guys, Jim here with unityofnoise.com. Uh, once again, just continuing on our tutorial on smart crates and organization of your music in Serato. We are using Serato DJ Pro in this tutorial. Uh, if you are still rocking Serato DJ, it is exactly the same. And uh, I haven't seen any changes with the organization stuff in Serato DJ Pro versus Serato DJ. So yeah. Let's get to it. So smart crates, uh, what is a smart crate? For those of you who don't know, smart crates is this blue button over here on the left-hand side. And what a smart crate does is it allows you to create a crate based on parameters. So what you're doing is you're going through your library and you're putting tags under your genre or wherever you want to put your tags. And you can use those tags to create crates that will automatically update as you bring in new tracks. So just as a quick example, I will add a rule and I'm going to put genre contains hip hop. Now what this is going to do is inside this crate, it's going to pull every single track in my library that has hip hop inside the genre. If I tagged it as a hip hop track, it's going to be in this. So we put create and then this is crate three, which is the new crate that I just made. And you'll see once this updates, it's huge because I have a lot of hip hop. So now this is every file in my DJ music folder that has the tag hip hop under the genre. Now, just for fun, we could actually say genre does not contain hip hop. And you'll see that it's going to change and it's going to put every file in this folder that doesn't have the word hip hop in the tag. So now it's all just like pop and country and rock and everything else, but it has no hip hop in this whatsoever. And we could also do genre is hip hop. What that's going to do is that's only going to put files in this that are hip hop with nothing else whatsoever. So if I tag something hip hop alternative funk, it's not going to show up in this list now because this is basically saying it has to be specifically hip hop in the genre and nothing else. So that's basically how smart crates work. Now, the key to smart crates is your organization. So if we go over here and we look, I basically just made this key, which I highly suggest everybody do. I started off just by saying uh, what goes where. So my tags are go in the comments section, my genres go in the genre section, year and year section, and I put emojis in the composer section. I'll get into emojis a little bit later on. So I don't really use tags, so to speak, anymore. And by tags, basically, I mean like uh, descriptions beyond the genre. So some people put hip hop, and then as a tag, they'll put like booty bounce or, you know, heavy or peak hour, you know, like it's like a more detailed description of that specific track. And a lot of people use that. I've got a bunch of friends that do that. And they they put those tags inside the comments section, which again, this is just more detailed ways of organizing your stuff. With, and later on, when you're adding new music tracks, it's going to be way easier for you to organize everything because uh, Smart Crates is going to handle all that for you once you tag the track. So I pretty much just use genres. And uh, what I did was made myself a key. So I have um, all these different things on the left hand side that are just the abbreviation as um, is what I actually put inside the genre tag. And then next to it just is telling me what it was that I meant to put there. So inst for instrumental, R and J for rock and jock, trans for transition, and so on and so forth. You can kind of see how it goes. Now, this is completely 100% up to you. You do whatever you want in this moment in time. No one cares. I mean, at the end of the day, you're the only one really looking at your library anyways. I have friends that only use like two letters where, you know, one of my buddies does uh, for hip hop, he just does HH, you know. Me, I use reggaeton for both reggaeton and boomaton tracks. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just how you like to organize it. So, you know, get creative creative and, and enjoy yourself. If you want to use my stuff as an example, feel free. Screenshot the video right here if you want or whatever. So now what I do is I, I imported, let's just say I just dragged this song into Serato. Okay. So I dragged this song in Serato. I've got a brand new track. I've got composer, key, beats per minute, song, artist, genre, and year. Now I'm pretty detailed when it comes to organizing my stuff. So I like to make sure that all these columns are, are filled out pretty detailed. So you've got this, you know, this is bad touch and this is just the single. So I actually put single in here. So I know it's not an edit of any sort. I go under artist to make sure that the artist is correct. In this case, we have the Bloodhound Gang. Um, under genre, I'll put 
hip hop and pop music. Some people put house, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, you could put that. You could put dance. Um, to me, I just kind of put them as pop music. If I typically put hip hop and pop in the same genre, it's usually it means it's a dancier track. And then what I do is I go and I look up the year. I just search Bloodhound Gang uh, Bad Touch. So all I do is search the name and the artist, and then Google right here will show you the year. Boom. Release 1999. So now I can copy and paste that, or you could just type in 1999. And then for composer or emojis, um, I wouldn't emoji this track just yet. Usually I do emojis based on... Uh, whether or not people like a song or if I really like a song. So yeah, go through each column. I make sure everything's filled out. How This is, again, just how I want to do it. You could go in and add in your comment section for whatever you want to do as far as comments are concerned. Remember, I was just saying you could get more detailed besides hip-hop and pop. You could get even more detailed, you know, house, uh, party vibe. I mean, whatever, you know, you could just keep going with the comments. But the point being, you have all this stuff filled out. Once I've got that, then I lock the track on the left-hand side. And if you don't know how to lock a track, just hold control and click right there, and it'll lock the track. And all that does is allows you not to edit the grid anymore. For those of you who might use sync, the grids are very important. If you are doing transitions and you want to grid your transitions so the track actually changes tempo, the grid actually changes with it so your loops stay on, then again, that grid is very important. Make sure you check out my other video on uh, using the grid and how it can actually benefit you. So we've got our track. We imported our new song. We've got all of our parts filled out. And now what the cool thing is, is if I was to go to my pop playlist and if I search there you go. There it was. Now, as an example, if you watch, I will delete pop from this and the track will disappear. So the point being, smart crates do the work for you. By simply having a smart crate that says, let's go back to the smart crate, see what it says. Edit. Okay, so this smart crate says uh, genre contains pop, genre does not contain punk. Because I have this pop in my top 40 playlist and I didn't want any punk rock in there. So that was a lay for me to eliminate something out of the playlist. But basically, if the genre contains pop in any song that you put in your library, you throw a, any track, it does not matter. If you put pop in that genre tag, then boom, it's gonna show up in this playlist because of these parameters right here. Now, this is a good example of being able to eliminate things. Let's say I want all my pop stuff in this playlist. I don't want any punk. Let's say I John I don't want any rock. So I'm going to put genre does not contain rock. Okay? And then let's say I don't want any transitions either. I just want like pop. So again, genre does not contain trans cuz that's how I label transitions. Now if I hit save, and it's going to narrow this even further down. And it's still a lot of music in here. It's pretty intense. It's pop music. I've got a lot of that. So once again, we have all this pop music in here, but we're not going to have any punk rock, no rock and roll, no transitions. It's going to be just pop. We could make this straight up pop hip hop by changing it to just say um, genre is pop hip hop. So now the only thing that's showing up in this playlist is tracks that have both pop and hip hop and nothing else. They can't have any other tag, only pop and hip hop. And if I scroll up and down, you can see this specifically just pop hip hop. So again, by doing this, you can get super detailed with your smart crates. And at the end of the day, the the bonus to this is simply the fact that once you've got all your smart crates set up, then all you're doing is just organizing your music. You're coming in here, you're dragging a whole bunch of tracks in, and once you go in, and like right now, two reasons to beat it up. If you look hip, space, hop, slash, segue, that should not show up in my hip-hop category here. Two reasons to beat it up versus in my hip-hop category if I search two reasons to... Yeah, see, it's not there. But let's go back to two reasons and let's rename all of these at one time. Hip hop, segue. Well, now that we took the space out of the hip hop, we go back to hip hop here. We go to reasons and there they are, all four tracks. So there you go.
Those are smart crates. If you got any questions, leave a comment and uh, I'll answer them just as soon as I can. Cheers, guys. Beat the beast and the party has come.